This radio here is a KLH Model 21. This model was introduced in 1965 as a uh, successor to the KLH Model 8. And it was the last radio that Henry Kloss designed for KLH before he left the company. This particular radio is from January 20th, 1967. The date is stamped on the speaker. I have uh, fully recapped this set. Six point seven. Sitting in the morning sun, I'll be sitting in the evening. But then I know it's growing strong. The set uses the uh, acoustic suspension method. The cabinet is pretty airtight, not perfectly so, but you know, as, as uh, airtight as possible. And there's a um, fiberglass filled pillow stuffed inside of the set to provide further dampening. Finger on the please. Safe, safe, safe. On all our diamonds. Oh. You want to And the drive. As someone who isn't a cynical detective type. <laughs> Fun fact, this band owes me 25 bucks and a couch from the best-selling truck. Even the knobs have a little uh, wood inlay in them. What? The took This is uh, real wood, by the way, not wood grain. Although it is a uh, veneer over particle board. They even went to the trouble of uh, putting little caps over the, you know, outputs to keep air from getting out through them. I actually do have an extension speaker for this set, but it's currently packed away. It uses the same, you know, speaker uh, as is found inside of this radio, but for some reason the cabinet shape is completely different. I don't know why they did that. For the KLH Model 8, they made the speaker look the same as the radio but it doesn't even have the same grill cloth. The set uses the line cord as an antenna. You can also hook up an external antenna. It's not really necessary though. The set is very sensitive and selective. The grill cloth is uh, some kind of plastic material, so you can actually remove it and wash it if you need to. The one on this set is in nice shape. Here's my second KLH Model 21. You can see that this one's in uh, you know, a little worse shape than the other one. It definitely needs refinishing. But the electrolytic capacitors have been replaced, uh, well, with the exception of the one on the IF module. I didn't know that one was relatively accessible at the time. I know the set still works great. More than enough. It's amazing how much good work they did. Sign and drive. Plus, a soft pretzel crust pizza from Little Caesar. My wife. You can see there's a uh, wear to the real wood finish 
on the inserts to these knobs. The other set had, uh, you know, vinyl wood grain inserts. Now the strange thing was, underneath the, uh, you know, insert on the main tuning knob was a vinyl insert. If I sell the set, I'll include the you know, original wood disc so you can refinish that. But I think it looks better without it, since it's not all uh, worn and chewed up. This one was probably somebody's garage radio. It was really dirty when I got it, and it cleaned up pretty well. It's not perfect, but it's definitely uh, you know, possible to restore this one to excellent cosmetic condition. Well, thanks for watching.